Hey, welcome to our episode of Chaz Beer Reviews. Got some new guests today. This is Eric, Tony, and Anthony. We all met at Mahars, the uh, great craft beer bar downtown. What are you guys up to as far as how many beers on their tour? Uh, about 170 now for myself. I got my t-shirt last time I was there. Alright. I'm just about to start. You're just about to start. <laughs> um, we're drinking a local beer. This is the Keegan Ales Joe Mama's Milk Stout that uh, Henry and I had when we went down to Keegan Ales like a month ago. Uh, I got a growler here from the local beverage center. And uh, well, we never officially reviewed on the show, so not only do we get my review of it, but we'll get three new guest reviewers' take on it. Let me read the description really quick. I printed it off their website. It says, uh, Big Brother to Our Mother's Milk, Joe Mama's Milk starts out with our mother's milk recipe. We then add copious amounts of brown sugar to add body and increase the alcohol content. Then after primary fermentation, we, add a, we infuse a cold coffee extract from our friends down the street, Monkey Joe's Roasting Company, and it's 8% ABV. So it's, it's, I always think of it more as like an imperial coffee stout than a milk stout, but it's really both. So we say we get pouring here. That would be a, yeah, I think that would be nice. All right, we are back. Just pour the growler. And uh, Anthony was just saying, wow, that's a really dark beer. <laughs> it is. Like, wow, that is very dark. Well, it is a stout, so. You see some ruby red at the bottom down here. I've no I noticed yeah. that. The coloration is very, very nice. I love that. What are the aroma? What do you think? I, you can smell the coffee. Yeah. Yes, that is very distinct. You can coffee. smell the brown sugar when you open the growler. Mm. Did you? Yeah. You open yeah, it in front it, of you, I'm jealous. It actually smells oh, kind of amazing. like, <laughs> it smells like Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee with like nothing in it. It does. It does. <laughs> so, yeah, it does. So it doesn't even smell like beer, really. And which leads me to believe that it should be more of a coffee stout than a milk stout. Yeah. But they said the recipe starts with the milk stout. Yeah. Yeah. So well, you, you so can't change your sugar. DNA. I'd like some milk stout with my coffee stout, stout please. <laughs> yeah. Like, Alright, so what do you say we uh, get drinking here? Cheers. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. Get the coffee like immediately. Oh yeah. <clears throat> and it's strong coffee aftertaste. Strong coffee aftertaste. It does taste just like Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you get the milk stout right in the beginning when you first swallow it. Like you taste the coffee, then you get the milk, then you get the coffee aftertaste. Yeah. Tastes like something I drink at breakfast. Yeah. I'm a coffee drinker, so I could have this for breakfast. <laughs> Yeah. If you worked at a brewery, <laughs> I need some. To I need some toast with it just to be safe. It does seem like a little thin, but I mean, it could be because it's from a growler and not from the tap. You know, it's possible. I'm noticing it's it's not a heavily carbonated beer, which is good too. It's smooth. Yeah, it is smooth. Yeah, it was a pretty consistent taste each time you take a sip. Yeah, yeah. no That's bitterness. No, oh, love it. I like the, just like that, that coffee, roasty flavor. I, get, I mean, it's like kind of like bitter, like as far as, because coffee itself is rather bitter, unless you put a ton of cream and sugar in it. Well, see, it goes down really nice. The aftertaste is what's bitter. Hmm. You think it's mildly, though, because I mean, like if you drink black coffee, yeah. that, that yeah, definitely leaves bitter. a stronger taste in your mouth. This is yeah. a little bit better than that, but it is very smooth. Yeah, I remember this being a little bit more robust when I had it at the brewery in Kingston, but, you know, what the, maybe I have to grade on a curve here because it's from a growler. Which is still delicious. Yeah. I totally thought the growler was brown. <laughs> <laughs> That's from how dark it is. Well, I realized that. I should have noticed that the handle was not, but... <laughs> it's okay. You just got off work. We'll let this one slide. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. I get one of those stupid passes. Did For you now. notice there's like a almost kind of sugary sweetness in the aftertaste? Yeah. You definitely taste some of the brown sugar. The coffee is a little distinct. I like it. Now, would you consider this like a dessert beer? Would you just drink this on its own? Or would, is there any kind of food you would pair this with? Kind of egg and eggs. <laughs> I don't it. Yeah. yeah. I would um, drink it by itself. By itself, mainly, I think it's it's a little bit thick to drink with a meal. 
I mean, it is smooth and it is light for a, for a stout, but it is still kind of thick. But the flavor is so distinct, you wouldn't want to mix it with anything else. Good point. Right. Yeah, they made a point of saying, you know, they add copious amounts of brown sugar to add body. So it, it does have, you know, it definitely is like full body beer. But it, it's so damn smooth. Like, this drinks like a Guinness. You know, this is like 8%. Guinness is like 4.2. Four, yeah, 4%. Four, four I mean, do you, I don't smell any alcohol. I don't mm -hmm. taste any alcohol. No. This is a lot better. This is so much smoother than Guinness. And I like Guinness. Mm -hmm. I, what do you think? Uh, I would I would drink this off the tap. No, yeah. No problems. No problems. What is everybody thinking as far as grade-wise? Um, I usually use a 1 to 10 scale. I think this is a 9 bordering on a 10. Kind of like an A minus. I'd so, support that. I'd support what do you, support what do you guys that. think? I give it a solid A. No yeah. minus. Yeah, no minus. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is really good. What do you think, Eric? Uh, I give it about an A minus. Alright. But either way, it's, we all agree it's like a really good beer, right? Mm hmm. Alright, well, I guess that about wraps it up for this episode. So, uh, thanks Drink to your milk Eric, Tony, and Anthony for coming over. Cheers. And, uh, yeah, cheers, everybody.